there. I'm Mike Armstrong, head baseball coach at Alfred State College, and I'm honored to be speaking on behalf of Figured Out Baseball today. This is video two in a multi-part series on the inner game. We just discussed mental time travel and its effects on players and coaches, and now we're going to discuss centering and how to bring our mind and body to the same place in the moment, which is bringing yourself present. There's obvious importance in being present and being able to be in the moment, again, for anybody, but especially a baseball player. Uh, as all of you players and coaches know, when you're standing in the batter's box or standing on the mound and you have to face a hitter or pitcher live in a game, there's pressure involved in that. There's feelings and thoughts that are going to crop up and be involved with that. That's that mental time travel wanting to play its role, just like it does when you're sitting at home at the end or beginning of your day or you're sitting in class or you're sitting in your office. When you're, sit, when you're standing in the batter's box or at your position on the field or on the mound, we want to be able to put our mind where our feet are, a.k.a. bring our mind and body together and have them function in unison in the moment because our body can go on autopilot. We can take swings. We can throw pitches while we're worrying about something in the future or in the past, and I think it's safe to say we would all agree that would make us worse at doing the task at hand, hitting or pitching or fielding or base running. So in order to center, which is the act of bringing your mind to where the body is, we have to tap into our senses, the five senses that many of us were gifted to be able to use out of the womb when we're babies. And we need to tap into what's going, around, going on around us, what we notice and what we can feel. So notice would be things we hear, things we smell, things we taste, things we see. And then feel is our feeling, the tactile sense, but also feeling with our heart. So we can use any of these things to anchor ourselves in the moment. So if we stand well or we sit a little bit better, and I can feel my feet on the ground right now, for this moment in time, my mind is paying attention to the sensation of my feet on the ground, not that I'm on video speaking with you or that Tomorrow, I have practiced the day before a big game. That is the gift of being in the moment, is we can ease the worry, the anxiety from the future, the worry from the past, by training ourselves to be in the moment. This skill takes as much practice as hitting off a tee to become a better hitter and hit home runs, or being a pitcher that throws 90 miles an hour, or the fielder that makes great plays. You have to find what senses work best for you and begin to exercise them. When you're walking around before practice, after practice, can you hear the birds chirp? Can you feel the grass under your shoes? Can you notice the piece of garbage that's sitting on the floor next to the garbage can that maybe one of your teammates walked right by? Not only are those the things that make you the player coaches want to coach, but it also makes you more aware and more in tune and more able to access the moment, which is important to maximize your physical skills. We all know, thanks to Yogi Berra, that baseball is a mental game. And in order to play the mental game, we must train our mental capacity. We must try to bring ourselves to the moment. Again, I'm Mike Armstrong, the head baseball coach at Alfred State. And we just discussed centering and the importance of bringing your mind and body to the same place, a.k.a. being in the moment and being present when the moment starts to get big. In our next video, I'm going to give you some concrete examples, take you through a centering exercise, and discuss ways in which you can use centering to bring yourself to the moment during your game.